What are essential HR director skills and how do they contribute to an organization? Hey there, my name is Josh. I'm the founder of HR University, and this lesson will go over just that. And before we do so, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and that way you can learn everything there is to know about becoming a great HR professional. Now let's begin. First, we'll go ahead and break down the crucial skills into multiple sub-skills category. So a great HR director needs communication skills, strong leadership skills, and management skills. And HR directors also need problem-solving skills, digital skills, and interpersonal skills. And we'll go ahead and start with communication skills. So an HR director must have excellent communication skills, say the least. And the HR director's role is to lead by example. Thus, clear and straightforward communication within the organization helps others follow that example. And first we have is verbal communication skills as a subset. And verbal communication is essential for explaining HR tasks to employees and ensuring that they do their job effectively. And HR directors must deliver presentations and plans, hold meetings with stakeholders, and answer questions from employees. And HR directors also need excellent written communication skills to pair with those verbal skills to again help them with presentations, effective emails, talking with stakeholders, and more. Next, HR directors must have strong leadership and managerial skills as it is a leading role. And strong leadership boosts work productivity and employee engagement. Furthermore, excellent leadership skills help the HR director position themselves as someone to follow. And that means being a role model. And role modeling means paving the path for junior employees to learn behaviors and work ethics. And next we have coaching and mentoring. Leadership skills allow HR directors to maintain proper productivity levels and help employees evolve their skills. And coaching and mentorship provide guidance and instruction to junior employees whenever needed. And as you are working as a role model for your employees, you must coach them about work policies and ethics. And next we have management skills. HR directors oversee the entire HR department, its ongoing operations, and employees' workflow. And as a subset skill here, we have project management, which includes developing resource plans, estimating costs for hiring campaigns, collecting resources, and managing project files. An HR director is responsible for looking after the project management operations, and they need to be able to take care of all of that. And then we have time management. Timelines help track HR progress and identify delays. Moreover, creating a timeline ensures that the entire organization syncs with the budget. And this brings us to budget management. Budget management means that the desired HR campaign achieves the business objectives at the right time with a specified budget. And in an HR department, tasks like recruitment involve costs, so an HR director is responsible for ensuring that the department has the right financial resources. And the next skill that an HR director must have is problem-solving skills. The seniors of any department must tackle the risks, challenges, and issues faced on a day-to-day -day basis. And in HR, a common issue is personal conflicts. The HR department acts as a mediator between employees and employers, so they tackle disputes that arise, most often due to non-alignment of operations and poor management. And conflict management also means proactive actions such as creating proper benefit plans so that issues don't happen in the first place. But foreseeing possible problems goes beyond conflict management. HR directors must act proactively and create strategies to prevent issues such as lack of budget, working staff, and more. Another necessary skill set is expertise in required software. So HR directors must be tech savvy and data driven. And digital tools allow better analysis of ongoing operations and time to time campaigns. And software proficiency is the most common demand for HR directors. Required software might be project management, data analysis, and recruitment solutions. Another vital tool here is HRM software. As an HR director's role demands good management skills, thus a sound understanding of HRM software is also crucial. HRM software allows HR directors to analyze the workspace and make proper decisions that are adequate and on time. And finally, we have interpersonal skills. Interpersonal skills are necessary for communication, employee empathy, and listening, and also negotiation. Trusting employees is crucial as it boosts their confidence and leads to better results. Thus, an HR director must trust employees and create mutual trust in employees. And last year, we have listening skills. Listening to employees is another way of showing empathy. And trust matters, but to give more respect to employees, listening also matters just as much. And that's what also helps build trust. And when you understand employees from a senior position, such as the HR director, you show how much the organization values its employees. And ultimately, you build respect and confidence and your coworkers. And now that you're aware of the skills, let's take a brief look at the steps to become an HR director and how those skills play into that. So first off, you need to be qualified. And that means becoming a certified HR professional 
because the certification will ultimately increase your chances of winning the seat and give you foundational knowledge in many of the different aspects of HR. Next, you want to master the fundamentals of an HR director's posts. So for example, learn the development and enforcement of HR goals and strategies and familiarize yourself with employee relations policies and understand the compliance of policies with the organization and also maybe state rules as well. Moreover, learn to analyze the data that your organization has and contribute insights for the development of better people policies. And you must have a command over how to cultivate desired culture within the organization. And experienced candidates are preferred for the senior seat. Hence, practicing all of these skills to gain work experience is so important. And last, you wanna hunt and apply for a suitable HR director role. And to do that, you need to customize your resume and cover letter for each company individually. And that will give you the highest chance for landing your role. And if you are looking to get promoted to that role within your current organization, make sure to raise your hand and take on more responsibilities that are aligned with that role so people can see you as an ideal candidate. And there we have it. We just went over common HR director skills that are also essential to perform on the job and make sure that you can lead an organization effectively. And if you feel like you have a better idea of how to do just that, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and that way you don't miss any of our lessons and videos on how to become a great HR professional. And again, my name is Josh. I'm the founder of HR University, and I'll go ahead and see you on some of our following lessons. Cheers.